I am a big believer in storytelling. I think that um, hearing a powerful narrative can change your life, especially if you could relate to it. So it's a big reason why I decided to tell my story about my home birth and how I gave birth to my daughter right here in my living room in a pool <laughs> with a team of midwives, um, a doula, my mom and my grandmother and my baby. It was a magical experience. And this is for anyone who is debating between having a home birth and a hospital birth. I definitely recommend a home birth. And I hope that this could pave the way for you to make that decision. The female vessel holds so much power and it's so capable, it's just that we're not taught about how capable it is and what actually happens when you're pregnant, right? And how you're building life. Sorry, I have to check my child every five minutes because I just want to make sure she's good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's taking a nap right now. But yeah, definitely, um, it was a lot, but the only advice I would give women is to follow your intuition and with that, follow your body. Your body always tells you exactly what you need to hear. Not what you want to hear, but what you need to hear, your body knows first and foremost. On a cellular level, your body knows what is not for you and what is for you. And it's important to really, really listen to yourself. Um, I just had a baby uh, 10 weeks ago, and it's been a beautiful 10 weeks, and I've been making really the best out of it with my daughter, and I don't know, I wouldn't uh, change it for the world. It's like, uh, having kids is something that um, I didn't really expect to be like this. Um, I thought it was going to be, I, I couldn't have imagined this, you know what I mean? Like it's like an unimaginable experience and the love that you feel just amplifies. And me as a person, I'm already like, woo, yay, like love and light. <laughs> uh, I have my moments, of course, I'm not like some angel. Everyone does, it's the balance, I'm just as the opposite as I am love and light. Um, but that's just the raw human condition. It's the human experience. We just experience both at the same time. <sighs> yeah, but I wanted to mainly make this video to talk about my uh, pregnancy and my home birth experience. So I'm a person that believes in autonomy and being autonomous over your body, especially as a woman. So. I got pregnant and my mother was so excited. She was a huge supporter throughout this whole time. Um, she's the best. And she had taken me to this doctor in Staten Island. Those of you from New York, like you know, Staten Island is already a bit sus. So, but whatever, she takes me to this doctor and I have questions, right? Like I'm pregnant, obviously. Like I wanna know what's going on in my body. I wanna know what is intertwining with what, how my baby's growing, like I want to know everything. So I'm asking this woman all these questions and she's just like, uh, she's like, I've been doing this for a while, like you can trust me. And I'm like, okay, that's not at all what this is about. <laughs> I just want to know what's happening so then I could somehow explain it to my daughter when she's gonna have a kid or if she's not like maybe I could explain it to my friends like whatever the scenario is I want information right and it's natural for me to want information so yeah that didn't work and then um I didn't feel very empowered I didn't feel very like I don't know it was just not my environment and uh she was started talking to me about epidurals and the hospital and all this th stuff all this and that and I went to the I was like, I want to give birth at home, you know, I want to do it in the comfort of my own home and in the home bacteria, because <laughs> there's so much like germs in the hospital, at least in my house, it's my germs and my family's 
right so that was my thought and she was like the doctor is not gonna come this is like the receptionist she was like the doctor is not gonna come to your house like you can't be in this office if you want to do a home birth like you can't do a home birth and i was like okay cool whatever i tell my mom like i want to do a home birth she freaks out because we're all unfamiliar with that. I don't know anyone who's done a home birth at all. Like, I don't know anyone who popped a baby out in the pool in their living room. Now I know me, like I've done that, obviously. <laughs> and now I've met a few women and a huge community of women like that actually, which has been a huge blessing. Um, and yes, yeah, so I had found midwives, long story short, uh, the best midwives I could have imagined to have. It was just incredible treatment. Shout out to Cosmos Midwifery. Thank you for everything and for keeping me safe and just with the head on my shoulders, believing in myself. Uh, I'm so grateful. It was awesome. Uh, <laughs> and then um, the whole time, I guess my whole pregnancy, I knew that I wanted to go natural. That was my biggest concern as well, besides the germs and whatever at the hospital. I know that they just throw you the epidurals right away or a C-section, you know? And I wanted to make sure that my birth was natural and I wanted to give birth inside water. So the whole pregnancy, I was basically just mentally preparing myself. I don't know why I have this pen. Just mentally preparing myself for the pain that I'm gonna feel. And I've also heard women not having any pain at all. That's a thing as well. It's all about how you work with your body and where you get educated too. Education is so important. So that's the thing with midwives. They educate you about your body and what it's going through and how to cope with this pain. What are different techniques and what are, because if you think about it, way back in the day before we had all this like medical technology women were giving birth in their homes without any painkillers without epidurals without c-sections actually no c-section started in africa in west africa i can go in to that another time but it was something interesting that i read about it was amazing amazing stories um so it was taken from there and their practices but Natural births have been around for eternity, literally. Birth is also something that is so sacred and so beautiful. If you think about it, when I was telling people that I'm doing a natural birth at home, everyone was just scaring me. They were like, you're gonna die. Your child is gonna die. You guys are gonna have so many complications, blah, 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 like all these crazy things. And I was like, okay, have you done a home birth? And they're like, no, I did a hospital birth, but I know. I was like, okay. You know, and my, another thing was not trying to get these negative narratives to me, right? It's like, ignorance is also knowledge. So it's very easy for somebody to embed their ignorance that they know into you and scare you. And fear also spreads in your mind a lot faster and stronger than positive words do. So it was... A big challenge to really create this narrative of empowerment and this narrative that I can do this and nothing bad is gonna happen and it was it was a lot honestly like that was my biggest thing I was like oh my god everyone is scaring me and why are we so afraid of something so sacred like a birth why and everyone was just telling me how painful it is and how whatever I had women tell me you're gonna beg for epidurals, you're gonna this, this, and that, which I understand maybe that was their experience and some people could not, um, you know, not everyone could take this pain. And also some people's bodies do create complications and there are man-made complications that are created that I'm also not gonna get into, it's controversial. I'm not very pro-medical system, as you guys could tell, obviously. So, um, yeah, everyone was just scaring me and nobody had anything good to say except my midwives and my doula. And those have been the people that were empowering me the whole time and I'm just so grateful for them to that they've helped me shape my narrative. 
and some have something positive to look forward to in, t in terms of birth. I'm like stuttering because it was just so... I don't know, it was, it was a lot, right? <laughs> I actually had a friend come over today and I showed her my birth video because she's also never heard anyone do a home birth. And yeah, she was just like, wow, that's crazy. I'm like making sounds that I can't control. The sounds that are coming out of me, I've never heard before. And you could tell it's the sounds of pain. And again, I was preparing myself for this pain. And yeah, it was just a lot of preparation, mental preparation. I, I was like, it was, it's all in my mind. That's all it is. And I would watch a lot of empowering birth stories on YouTube or just reading a whole bunch of them. Whatever it was, the day came. We're here. I am 40, 39 weeks pregnant. It is exactly the day of my due date. It's uh, December 28th. And yeah, the contraction started, everything, and I'm still doing stuff. Like, I'm moving around. I was finishing the baby room, whatever I had to finish there, like the clothes, everything. I was preparing things with my bed and basically like just doing things. Movement is a big healer in that moment, right? Like it's, you could distract yourself from the pain. All right, she's sleeping, okay. <laughs> So yeah, my contractions are going, they're getting more intense. They're getting closer together, they're getting longer. So I'm sitting here and I'm just like, yep, this is it. And I call my doula and I'm like, what do I do? I can't talk, I can't walk, like it's happening, you know? She's like, hop in a bathtub, fill it up with water and just lay there. And water was an epidural itself. Right, and I had a friend way, way before tell me that water is a natural epidural, so I definitely trusted that. And yeah, I would just hop, I hopped in the bathtub in and out like four times and refilled the water just to make it warmer every time. And I just remember I was laying on my side and I was like looking into the wall and I was just breathing. I was breathing as much as I could and it was so painful. And this is the pain that I could have never imagined. Truthfully, truth be told, I did not expect this type of pain and I wasn't prepared for it. I don't think we're ever ready for anything, you know? We're really not. Life just like comes at us. I was not ready for a baby, but I was ready for a baby because I was willing to dive into it and really, you know, create a positive empowering story out of that and believe in myself that I can do it I can have a child I can raise a child by myself and I can definitely do a home birth <laughs> and it was the best choice I could have made in my life both of these choices the baby and the home birth like thank you thank you universe <laughs> So yeah, let me just, that was way off topic. I'm gonna continue about the um, the home birth. So I'm in the bathtub, I'm in and out, and then my doula comes. At this point, it's like 12.30 a.m., the 29th already. And yeah, it's like unbearable pain. My mom and my grandma are filling up the bathtub. Uh, it was right here in my living room, if you guys can see. Like literally, I gave birth like right here. And it was awesome because this is my space, right? Like I'm comfortable in it. And I felt so good and so safe. My grandma was here, my grandma raised me. My mom was here, I trust my mom. And I felt very safe. I felt like I was in really good hands. Um, and also it's like that aha moment where you were pregnant for nine months and you're raising your child and you're very intentional with the pregnancy, at least that's how I was. I was doing my best to not stress and kind of understand that I can't control things around me, but I can control myself and my reactions and my child feels what I feel. And as there were some moments where the hormones just get to you, you know, and it's very hard. 